Okay. Is that two characters per server? It's two characters per server. So oh, you can okay. only make that's not bad. You can you can only uh, make two characters on PVE and then only two characters on PvP. Okay. All is right. it come back up for you guys? Uh, yeah, <coughs> I can't do it right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Up. Um, all right, so I'm here. Let's do this. Make One strike. I, I see. I see. I see. Zero's been playing Paladins on. Yep. Actually, I gotta get my daily thing for that. Um, who is who is who is your character of choice? Uh, well, right now I only have the defaults unlocked, so I use uh, Ruckus mostly. But I also choose. Ruckus. Uh, I also use the other dude, um, the, the, uh, Spanish dude, Spanish dude. Yeah. Yes. Fernando. Fernando. Yeah. That's who it is. All right. Mega Man 11 demo version. Yay. This comes out next month. Mm -hmm. Woo. October. Broke-tober. Broke-tober. Here it comes. Broke-tober. The yep. same day as Fist of the North Star. Let's see, I'm... we got that, we got Mega Man 11, we got, in, on the 5th, JoJo Part 5 starts. Now, um, Oni, I'm going to say this to you, just because I I have a bunch of games, and I worked at a game store, and you've worked in a game store. Oh, when it boy, comes yes. to Fist of the North Star, if you're going to pick it up, do not, under any circumstances, trade it in. Because you will never be able to get that game again. Oh, because you're right. not a lot of people buy these anime games. So things like Bleach, Resurrection, it goes for almost $100 now. Because yeah. nobody stock them, because nobody buys them. So, I plead to you, as a person that I know works at a game store, and trades his games in, do not, under any circumstances, trade that game in okay. if you wish to play it ever again. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> funny you should mention this is more store games, because... Ken's Rage and Ken's Rage 2 are like five bucks pre-owned. Yeah, but once they're gone, they're gone. You probably won't see them again. Just because they're cheap when they are used doesn't mean that they're not rare still. This is why I still have my original copies of uh, .hack GU. <laughs> uh -huh. Holy shit, yeah, I'm laughing. All my, all like .hack... Oh, man. Um, he like still looks around the and stuff select like that. Screen. There works so much now. He still so looks around the select those. screen. Look at that. I saw. I saw someone stream yesterday, Wild Arms Three, and I was just oh, like, good. actually, Jeff oh, picked that up the other day. Uh, Wild Arms Three. So it was the only one he was missing. Good. Um, speaking of which, Jeff tipped me off. Uh, um. The game story works for had a um, had gotten in a bunch of rare GameCube games, so I picked up uh, uh, Bonin Kaito's Origins today. Nice. They also had the Fire Emblem GameCube game, but they wanted 125 for it. <laughs> I, I can't afford wow. it right now. And also, it's not that good of a game. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, Radiant Stone, right? I think that's what it's called. I. <laughs> It's awful. This is why I'm so worried about the Switch Fire Emblem. As much as you want it, Zero, you can't get it. I, I as much as you want it, you can't get it. I mean, I mean, that's what... Shows what you know. Yeah. I didn't know that the demo gave you Rush Coil. CJ, I'm saying, even if I did, wouldn't I just no. buy it digitally or... What? Yeah, but then then you risk you risk the idea of not being able to download it later. Oh, if shit. you would listen to the Hunter Base podcast, which finally released on YouTube today. Yeah, finally. Yeah, Seriously. sorry about Fuck. that. Yeah. I had some I had some rendering issues. Oh no, that's fine. I was just like I, was, I thought it was a great segue into, into yeah. plugging the Hunter Base podcast. But like that's that's the thing is if the servers and things go down, and like obviously we're talking like twenty years from now, but you will not be able to download PS like PS3 games that you bought digitally probably in the next like five years. No. You know, because they'll shut down the PS3 servers because they need to make room for PS4 and PS5 servers. Yeah. If so even last that long. Yeah, well it's just it just it's just one of those things. Like I mean like for you example, know, Marvel vs. Capcom as 2. As much as hold on, let me just say here, as much as the switch needs a proper D-pad. I'm doing just fine using the D-pad buttons. 
like, are you using are you using the controller or are you using the, I, the joy cons? I'm, I'm using the I don't have a pro controller, so oh, okay. I'm using the joy cons. I use the joy cons. So I'm guessing those those little cogs that drop from enemies just ex accelerate. Wait, wait, that that auto quickly. activated rush coil. Oh no, the the cogs they're they're a currency. Oh, you mean yeah, you mean you? Are you talking about bolts? Yeah, the bolts. Wait, why is rush coil activating on its own? I don't have it. Activated. Yeah, you have because you have, have it equipped. You have oh, a no. No, he Isn't has that a what that red thing is? No, no, that red bar is Rush Coil, but there's a button specifically for Rush Coil. Oh, I didn't now. know that. Yeah, you you looked at the controls! I saw you look at the controls, you weren't paying attention. Yeah, but I took three seconds to look at them, I wanted to make sure nothing changed. Oh, uh, Mega Man, yeah. I know how to play the Mega Man, he said in earnest. Damn it. I'm, I'm actually, as much as I'm hyped for Mega Man 11, I'm also hyped for the next update for Mega Man Maker. Mega Maker? Yeah, Mega Man Maker. You, Mega Maker? They, oh, they you, changed- you killed they, had, they had- they had to change the name legally. Because of, uh, copyright issues. Someone- someone had copyrighted the domain name of Mega Maker. Oh, that's was not sell, without, without, without And they weren't selling it to the- to, to, uh, Wrecking Program, so... They just changed the name to Mega Man Maker, so... Intellectual property is important. Wait, what's the Rush Coil button? The fuck? I, I think it's probably Y. Is it Y? Uh, why is Buster? Okay, uh, X? Oh, X, yeah. Or B. It's X. Okay, but, but um... No, uh, they're adding, they're adding in some more assets for Mega Man 9, and we finally, we're finally getting rain physics. Oh, cool. Now, if only they could fix the water. I don't know physics. whether or not I like the art style yet. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. You know, I mean, see, it's you know retro, what? They, yeah, but it's like the stage is really nice, but I don't know. There's something about Mega Man that doesn't seem right to me. I feel like the effect for his Buster is not strong enough. Like the charging. I think they settled it down a bit. Yeah, and then when he gets hit, I mean... Also, also his his movement looks very, very rigid. It actually, it, it actually matches NES a lot better than Mega Man 8 did. I'm actually surprised. The physics seem... Like, I can... Oh, I'm not, I'm not complaining about the physics. Oh, I haven't played the game, but, like, I'm just talking about on a visual level. Yeah. Now, Vegeta, Honestly, Vegeta's got the right idea with the physical game thing. What is the most expensive game you own? Like, just like... Oh, that I own. Like, cool. Yeah, like if you if you know, if you just know like all the time. I know it's a the toss up. It's a toss up between uh, a sealed copy of uh, Hello Kitty um, Racing on Wii U or uh, my copy of Hagane. Zero Hagane is the more expensive one. Yeah. Also, fuck you. Uh, I, I have a sealed copy of Suikoden Two. I don't have any sealed copies that's, of that's games. That's probably like four hundred and fifty dollars sealed. I think. I don't have any sealed games. I got but... that for fifty cents on a trading. <laughs> Jesus. It's <laughs> the one thing I missed about that video game job is Didn't if somebody wanted cat, if somebody wanted cash, you could just be like, "All right, here's fifty cents," and just not log it in the system and just pay fifty cents. Gosh. Real life hacks. Get games Real life are cheap. <laughs> yeah, games are cheap, man. Yo. Games are fucking expensive. <laughs> Yo. Also, we had a rental system, so a lot of games I could quote unquote rent and then beat them and then give them back. Yeah, out. that's true. Oh yeah. Props to Vegeta for having tail concerts on one of C2's Cyber Connects uh, 2's first games. Oh really? Yeah. Um. I think the only two expensive games I own is Dot Hack GU Volume 3 and the original copy of uh, Dark Cloud. Oh, I have the original copy of Dark Cloud. Yeah, I have Dark Cloud as well. That was my first I, PS2 I, game. That, like, see, the thing is about Dark Cloud is I, I don't know if that's particularly that rare. Like, I think. Dark uh, Cloud 2 is rare. Dark actually, Cloud no. 2 goes no, like actually, years. no. The Black Bard. One, not the greatest hits one, because the Dark Cloud Two great or gre the Dark Cloud greatest hits is like everywhere. But I don't, oh, the shit, actual oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Black Label no, one no, no. is worth a lot more. Yeah, I have the Black Label one. 
Oh, okay, yeah. That's yeah. that it, but it's not super super rare. That's probably maybe about a hundred bucks. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, you, you dead. Oh yeah, you yeah, dead. I oh yeah, you died. I'm actually... Original print Final Fantasy Seven and Nine are pretty rare, yeah. Especially I... FF seven. Nine you like it the original print because you can still purchase, like Square still makes Final Fantasy Nine green greatest hits. I have a original print Final Fantasy Nine, but it doesn't work, and that's why I don't, I don't I don't I don't count it anymore. I traded it for a Dark Magician Girl, so I mean. that that game is not worth a Dark Magician Girl. That game is worth so much more than that. Yeah, well, I wasn't complaining. He wanted a Dark Magician Girl. I had one, <laughs> All right. and I I he, like he was I a, like he was a fool. You weren't the fool for getting Final Fantasy Nine for it, but like. He's the fool for saying Final Fantasy IX was worth Dark Magician. Dark Magician Girl. Let's just be real here. It, it, it doesn't matter. Just because it's got boobs doesn't make it better. They're two different cards. One you get in a booster deck, one the other one you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, start one is the greatest <laughs> Final Fantasy of all time. Oh, damn it, these Only rivaled maybe by six. What, nine? Yeah. Yeah. I, love, love I do nine. like nine. I think it's a good game. Like I said, it'd be rivaled by six, and but seven, it like I, it's the same sort of feeling that I give for like something like GoldenEye. Like GoldenEye, arguably now is just an awful game. Like it has not aged well, but I give it respect because of what it did for like first-person shooter oh, damn it. industries on the I console. I keep missing that jump. But it's the same thing with Final Fantasy VII. It, it brought Final Fantasy into the limelight for a lot of people, um, and it's 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 a hallmark in that way. But there were better Final Fantasies with better stories. Oh yeah. Because think... like the problem is, is the game focuses too much on Cloud and Tifa, and like the only other character that sort of matters in the story come like the end of Disc One dies. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> and I guess you could say that when Vince, you get Vincent, he's sort of important to the story, but he's not really. But he's an actual character, isn't he? Yeah, but he's a secret character. You, like, you can actually play through the game uh, with it. Okay. I just, uh, I just, I'm just, just sitting in my head. Oh, oh look. Oh, look. Vegeta has an unpopular opinion. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? I got bored with Final Fantasy VII. Alright, I gotta do this again. Are you gonna hate me then? Final Fantasy VII sucks and it should have never existed. Okay, but everyone okay, knows the- then, so all the, uh, all the ones after it, do you like Final Fantasy X? Nope. You don't like any of the Final Fantasies afterwards? No! I don't even like the ones before it. Oh, okay, well then that's a different thing. You just don't like the series. It doesn't mean that it should never have existed. It's not like it, it came and killed your family or anything like that. There's no it, vendetta. No, it like, killed my I could, I could get behind the idea of hating it because it it changed the way that Final Fantasy was played and like changed the market on how these games like came out. I could totally understand, but just hating the series. Oh well, then that's fine. Just say you hate the series. Don't say you hate Seven specifically. I you, just uh, I was never a huge fan of turn-based RPG. That's, Nowadays, that's, good. Not a minor that's good. That that's the opinion you should have. Like, like you have to under you have to understand, CJ. Like, Final Fantasy was Oni's brother, and then uh, Final Fantasy killed his entire family and left him alive. And ah, so now okay. Oni, now Oni is so in, in penance, in penance, he left him. Wait, alive. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oni's, so Oni's brother's Itachi. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy Seven is Oni's Itachi. Oh Jesus Christ! You're go you're comparing one thing I hate to another. Nice job. I hate hey. Naruto too. <laughs> it's fine. You can hate Naruto. Yeah. There's Bleach on the underhand is the best anime ever, and no one should ever disrespect my opinion. I hate Bleach. <laughs> Look, Oni, Oni, you're just full filled with hate. hate oh, please. What? what? Okay. And like, I we're gonna say anime that is mainstream. What is your favorite anime that's mainstream? This doesn't mean like some random thing, but I'm talking about mainstream shonen. Dude, oh, oh man, that's too hard. Besides uh, Dragon Ball Z and Gundam? Okay, like the Gundam's fine. Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z is fine too. 
Oh, jeez. We're not counting Super because they're technically still in the Dragon Ball family. Yeah. And the original It's like Dragon It's like Ball. saying, oh, I like Shippuden, but not Naruto. Like, it's very oh, odd, geez. right? I'm trying to actually remember. Lupin the Third. Oh, that's cute. The little free lives. They oh, spin around and they're a little... See, I've, always, I've always wrestled with the idea that Lupin really is a mainstream anime. It kind of is. Yeah. Tiger Mask W. I just think gonna it, like. Oh, I, for a like second, I thought that extra life was just gonna like fucking sit there, and I'm like, why would you do that? I was I gonna say, to... does Tiger Mask W count as mainstream or no? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? Are you saying I've w? never heard of that, so I don't know. You well, never heard of Tiger Mask? He's w. not a wrestling fan. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, okay. is okay. is that is that like Ultra Man? Not Ultra. What was that? Ultimate Muscle or whatever it was no, called. No, no. Ultimate different. Muscle is Kanika Man. Yeah, okay. Ultimate Muscle was Kanika Man. Tiger Mask W is like a sequel to the original Tiger Mask in the. So, 1960s. by the way, just a heads up. That sounds usually so in, mainstream. Usually in Japanese, me. when they use a W, they mean double. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Chris Trooper says, Easy way I know this. Common Rider double. Uh. Uh, Crimson Trooper said that Precure, uh, Precure, Precure is his shonen. Um, I have to say yeah. I know a lot of people like of... Precure. I'm, uh, I haven't been able to get into it. For my yeah. mainstream anime right now, uh, the ones that I'm watching is that I'm trying, I'm trying to work myself up to watch season three of Boku no Hero Academia. Uh, it's My Hero Academia. Uh, look, I don't, don't be a what it's called. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't look up any anime with Boku in it. Yes, yes, we know zero. No, 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 Fuck! You, you have, you have to understand, you have to understand that my whole, my whole thing in not watching season three is because I know that I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to suffer another season of of Bakugo. So. Oh man, my next, uh, my favorite fight in the manga is getting animated soon. I'm so excited. But um, I, I like Overlord. I'm not sure if anyone here. Yeah, I, 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 would, I, would I would consider Overlord uh, mainstream now, just because it's got three seasons under its belt. It's on its third season right now. Yeah, it's Overlord is just. I, I'm a big fan of. Less also, please support the dub. We've got we got abridging friends that are are in there. Oh, in yeah, the Overlord I, dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, Megami. Uh, oh, Corinne's in Ma uh, Overlord. Yeah, she's in. Yeah, she's no in. Idea. Yeah, she's in. Good it. for her. I know, right? Um. No, but I was saying, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Isekai anime. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not. It's, it's been overplayed. It's, there's some that have done it right. That was dumb. There, there are some that have done it right, and there's just some that are just like, why does it exist? Like, oh, shit, why didn't you, why didn't I use the rewind thing? I was oh. about to say, wah, why wah. aren't you? I should have used it there. Well, because um, I'm, I don't really need to use it that much. Probably should start like, using it though. Like I like I like I like uh, Overlord. I like Lock Horizon. Are you still popular in Japan? Jesus. Yeah. I guess it, because like a lot of those things were based off of visual novels and stuff like that. They they, they hold up bigger wait, significance. Wait, what are you what are you talking about? Uh, pre, he's talking about Precure. Oh, Precure's not really visual novel based. Precure's just oh, like it it's like it's Japanese Dragon Ball Z. That's basically what it is. Dragon Ball Z for girls. Japan. Wait a minute, I thought Inuyasha- hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I thought Inuyasha was the female Dragon Ball Z. No, that's Rioni Kenshin. It's the oh. female Rioni Kenshin. And oh, well. Don't make fun of Inuyasha, I quite like it. <laughs> I'll make fun of him if I want to, that fucking no. thing sucks! Oh no, it's, like, I- objectively, yes, there are some really bad points to it, but there's- it's a, it has a very strong meaning in my heart for some strange reason, it always has. 99.9% of stupidity, that's what it is. No, it's more along the lines of, like... I think... You just don't like dense protagonists. Like, a lot of people just don't like that. Oh, please don't watch Black Earth, or whatever it's called. Because, like, I, I've been watching Young Justice. But see, Young ah. Justice was pretty good. And see, like, I've, I've watched it now, and I understand... A, I understand why people fucking love that show now. Because it actually... It actually gets, like, the story and the plot, it doesn't drag on. They don't, like, play to people's romances and shit for, like, season oh, upon season. Oh, there's a platform on his head. That's cool. It's just like, no, by, like, the third episode, you've already established that these characters are teenagers and that hormones are, like, a thing. And you're well, just like, okay, sweet. That's true. And it, it deals with, like, actual sensitive topics in a very decent way. 
This is why DC's animated universe is so fucking good, and then you wonder how they can screw up their live action shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Superman, what's wrong with your face? Conversely, Marvel's animated and uh, no. animated Fuck. movie series is kind of terrible. It is. That's the But, like, they haven't really invested a lot in that. They've invested in the cinematic universe. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Zero, that's what happens when you try to go for help. <laughs> I, like... The one thing that Marvel's re doing recently now is that they're doing a... Gwen Stacy Spider Man, um, Gwen uh, Spider Girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I love. Um, um, <sighs> Come on. What's her? What's the? Too many oh my god. Things. I I I actually have her comics. Um, Fire Gwen. Gwen. Spider Gwen. Yeah. yeah Spider Gwen. They're doing Spider it. They're doing. They're really doing a good. Like the Venom saga right now is awesome. I thought they stopped doing Spider Gwen. No, no, they haven't. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, they're doing, they're doing a Marvel movie with uh, Spider Gwen, oh, <laughs> and currently, yeah. right now, some of the characters they have in there, uh, they because the pre, the, like the, there's a 30 minute preview on YouTube right now. Is it uh, an animated uh, season? Is it anim is animated? Is it animated? Uh, really bad. Anna? Right oh wait, are you you're not talking about the animated one that has like the the Spider Verse thing? Is it? It's not that no. one that has um that the Black Spider Man kid. Oh crap! What do you ask Miles Morales. Morales. Like, Miles, no. Miles Morales. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It's 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 it, it's his own universe. Like the only thing that's different in this universe is that um, Peter the, Parker died. <laughs> no. No. Peter Parker's not in this universe. It was someone oh. else. They 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 wrote out Peter Parker entirely of this series. They made it so the lizard in this universe uh, what just was happened? another just another generic voice you knew. My my TV just cut out for a second there. I don't know what happened. Um, but it has like the the characters they have so far in the movie that I've seen is they have uh, Spider Gwen, they have Squirrel Girl, and they have Kamala Khan. Oh, interesting. And I actually quite like Squirrel Girl's character, by the way. And totally the new Captain great. Marvel is really cool too. Um, but it, it's it's basically it's, it's, from what I read, it's a movie. It's going to be oh, a movie, but it's like, yeah, Marvel's Rising. That's what uh, uh, Marvel's Rising. It's called. Oh, thank you, Crimson. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'll <laughs> definitely, I'll movie definitely check that out. Then. I just, I'm, I'm interested because. Like, um, Ultimate right. Spider-Man, <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man, Disney SC Ultimate Spider-Man, was probably one of the best Spider-Man shows I've ever watched, bar none. It's what? actually that good. Which one? Um, Disney did a Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon series. Uh, um, and the whole premise Arguably, was, I'd say Superior Spider-Man's probably better. You, would you say it's or spectacular? Uh, is it spe no? I don't know if it's spe no, spectacular Spider-Man. The but the one that came out before the Disney the Disney ones that got it canceled because yeah. Disney wanted to incorporate a bunch of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Spider-Man thing so they could cash in on it. Yeah. No, no. It was it spectacular Spider-Man. Yes. Yeah, it was spectacular. Yeah, spectacular Spider-Man still is hands down the best animated Spider-Man. Sure. I it only has two seasons. I like. Objectively, Ultimate Spider-Man is great. Um, it got weird around the fifth season because they actually they actually went for a long time. But the third season with the Spider Verse was actually yeah, pretty good. It was actually handled pretty well. Where they where they were where they were just introducing other Spider characters and their aspects into the into the into the universe because they added my favorite Spider character, uh, Agent Venom was added into the show oh, um they 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 basically flash created, good old flash thompson they added they made their own superior spider-man in there they call him the iron spider but he's like um really he's basically he's basically a nicer superior spider-man um oh so that we're talking like doc ock spider-man for a while because superior spider-man's doc ock right yeah, yeah. It's basically Where he's, the he's doc ock in peter's body yeah it's basically the suit is basically a variation of that of that of that thing of oh, that oh, version the, of spider-man spider suit that tony gave him yeah okay 
It's a variation of that, but it's uh, piloted by someone else. Uh, then they added a mixture of Ben Riley and Kane. It's a character, just they just call him Ben. But um, it's basically a character that's basically a mixture of Ben Riley and Kane, and, and he's really good. And um, they also had Miles Morales because he he popped up in the season once, uh, and he, he's now he, now he's currently in that universe. Also, I also like the fact when they actually did the Spider the Spider Verse Crisis event in that show. Oh. They actually they actually brought Spider Man Noir, which is another good Spider Man series. If you haven't read it yet, uh, for those who don't know, it's like it's Spider Man set in the uh, I want to say nineteen twenties. Yeah, yeah, really good. And Spider Ham, you can't forget Spider Ham because that Spider was a thing. Pig. Spider Pig, Spider Ham. I call him Spider Ham because it's hilarious. Is it Hamlarious though? Uh, how do you put <laughs> up with this, CJ? <laughs> I don't that's know. Like, I can... That's like people trying to put up with me and my wrestling stuff. You see, but I like your wrestling stuff. Puns oh, please. Me. I fucking shit post. Let's be honest. I shit post. Yeah, yeah I know you shit post. But, yes, you shit post. But I'm going to say this with, this, with, with all the caring in the world. So does the, the wrestling writing staff. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Here's the difference between me and the no, wrestling writing fuck. staff. I can at least put out something incredible. That is fair. Damn it. Ah. Uh, oh. Did you watch that Facebook video? I oh, that's 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 tragic. Man, I'm gonna have to fucking. Because now that I'm, I'm caught up on Young Justice, I was like, oh yeah, when's season three coming out? And they're like, oh, early 2009. 19. Oh, sweet. But it's going to be on fucking DC Universe. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, so, everything's going to have its own streaming site because well, that's, fuck Netflix. That, that gives me an excuse to watch Titan. Fuck Batman. It's going to be great. Uh, uh, why is that even great. being made? Because they want to make money. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck like, Batman. <laughs> uh. Fuck Batman. I fuck mean, Batman. after after DC Metal, I, I that's how I feel right now. Well, see, the weird thing about Batman is people write him in so many different ways that it's hard to, like, pinpoint what type of person he is. Because sometimes you're just like, he's like a stone-cold, like, almost child abuser type, you know, like, where he is he is on the verge of being just as psychotic as the people that he puts in Arkham Asylum, where others, where he's just like a great dad figure. Like, in, uh, in Young Justice, he's like a really good dude. I mean, yeah, I know. It's just and you're just like, this is so weird because this is not the Batman that everybody keeps talking about, where he's like, oh, he's all broody and everything, you know? Like, I think it depends on what universe ba the Batman in question. Well, is. I, I don't know where which universe Young Justice takes place in because I know that Earth has like 300 different variations of itself in the DC. I just, I just DC Metal, the comic book series and stuff like that. Yeah. That frustrated me so much because basically they took Batman's paranoia and just said, how badly can we make his paranoia, um, uh, uh, you know, affect the universe? And then someone, someone in the corner, in the corner of the, 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 the comic book writing staff, I don't know how they do this thing, but then someone in the corner said, hey, let's have Batman out Barry Allen, Barry Allen. No, and fuck, the I universe. saw that coming in the... Uh... Man, this is more t tough than I thought. It's a Mega Man game. He's playing it as on normal. I want to point this out. This is on normal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to play on casual or newcomer. I know. I just... I just... I just watch you get shot in the back and get just the recoil just knock you forward to a Yeah, bit. that's what, I, that's I, what I, it was. Here. Speaking of which, speaking of Mega Man, Crimson Trooper, who here has seen that atrocity that is Mega Man, the animated series? What? The new one? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Everything. It's like saying everything's wrong with Sonic Boom. It's not, it's not offensive. It's actually, some of the writing's pretty goddamn clever. 
I just I, I mean I, it looks it looks odd, right? Like Mega Man's design is is odd, but hell, it looks better than whatever reboot's been fucking pumping out. Man, we don't talk about reboot. I mean, we don't talk about reboot. Do we right want now. Ruby Spears back? I don't think anybody wants Ruby Spears back. Okay, you know what? I take that back. The reboot, the reboot sequel did one thing right: is that they brought back Bob and Meg Megabyte, and I forgot where his sister was named. Megabyte sister. Dot or Megabyte sister? You mean um, uh, Hexadecimal? Yeah, they brought them back in the show, and they actually brought back oh the old God. computer. Oh my God! These um, fucking disappearing for, for things. Thing. I hate them. Jesus. I, I don't know. I just I feel like every time they try to do a mainline Mega Man show, I either really, really enjoy it, or I just really, really hate it, and I don't know why. Like I, I like the Ruby Spears Mega Man. I mean, it. It's, it's terrible. An, it's I, it's a painfully '90s show, but like. Yeah, it's painfully '90s, and I think that's that's why I like it because it's 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 painful. It's a it's a it's a fun painful. <laughs> but um, I didn't like Mega Man Into Warrior. Which is hilarious because you like Star Force. I know. <laughs> like I, I like the problem with NT Warrior is it it went it strayed quite a bit from the games. Yeah, I think after like the first season, like I, I think either either after like NT or Access, I just stopped watching. I'm just like this, like there's like nothing, nothing Damn in it. here. Damn it! Uh, I'm gonna die again. Why aren't you using the power core to, d to increase your powers of your, your shots? What the fuck are you talking about? The power gear. Oh, it increases the power of your shots? Yeah. yeah. That's it anyways. Oh, and also if you use a charge oh, hey. shot well... Oh, oh, that's an enemy. Oh. Okay. Also, when you use a charge shot while you under the influence of a power gear, uh, you... Um, you do a double charge shot. Oh. To know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Mega Man shows for me are hit a mess. And and, and I, I just I don't know. I, I I can't explain it. Oh great, another one of these. You can do it if you really try. What I'm really hyped for, and believe it or not, it's Pokemon Movie 21. Oh damn it! How do I? How do you? What? 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 what oh! How? how do you get through that? How the fuck do you get through that? Uh, you had to basically slide the other direction, jump on the platform, and slide through the the thing. Oh. I don't know what you mean, but I guess I'll find out. No, I tried. <laughs> what? Why does it ask twice? I said no once. That should be enough. It's like with Kirby and the copy ability thing. Do you want to learn? Do you know how to use a copy ability? Yes. Are you, do you need to learn how to use the copy ability? No. I said yes to the other question. And it still shows you. Well, obviously you don't know how to use my copy ability. God. Go. Go. I don't know how to use my like, copy ability. Go. That's a movie that I liked for all the wrong reasons. Same here. <laughs> Zero, did you like Napoleon Dynamite? <laughs> yeah, it was alright. I haven't seen it in a really long time, so it's hard to, like, get a gauge on. I haven't seen it in a long time either, but still. Right. What's 
What's a bundle, Indigala? What you got for me? You know, I just thought of something since we're on, we were on the topic of Mega Man and the Ruby Spears cartoon and all that. Would it have been weird if it was made by Filmation? What? Oh my god, really? I, I feel I'm 31 years old and yet I feel 60. <laughs> well, sorry, I didn't hear that. What? Um, Filmation. You ever heard of that company? Not really. Name some words. Name e some. What? What are they? Well, oh, okay. That say that like the animation company behind He-Man. E that makes sense. Yes, I've seen that stuff. I just never knew that what animation studio made it. I think it was Filmation. Hold on. I know that they outsourced a lot of that to China and Korea, and there was a lot of problems because of people were bad. I think deep, I think deep down, they, uh, Capcom knew what they were doing when they made uh, Arch to Bakushla Dora. You can't use normal weapons against him, and I hate it. Wait, they made an arc tempered one? Yeah. It just came out too today. Of the good coach. Where's my yeah. arc tempered Zora Magdaros? Yeah. Capcom? What the fuck? What the fuck, yeah. guys? Yeah, they made they made him, man. Okay, Imagine if they they were the ones who made Mega Man. That'd actually be pretty good. A lot of those, a lot of, like, the animations of things like Transformers and He-Man, um, like Wild Beasts and, and some of the other, like, early Wild cartoons. Beasts? What the fuck is Wild yeah. Beasts? Alright. Uncultured Swine. Anyway. Uncultured Swine! <laughs> you mean, do you mean Wildcats? No, not Wildcats. Wildcats is much we later on. I'm talking about the. I'm talking about the, the that generation because the animations were so bad. They focused more on storytelling, so a lot of them felt like moving comic books. That's why a lot of people like like super nostalgic Spider-Man. And yes, they end up being uh, like by today's standards and how we speak and how we watch stuff. Uh, not being fluid as animation, have a lot of mistakes and stuff like that. But I don't know. Crimson. Like I follow, I love following Transformers when I was a kid. Crimson, that's something that should need a reboot. But you know what? I'll probably watch it anyway. Shira, yeah, the Shira reboot I heard is actually it looks look, good. Yeah, it looks good. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand that a lot of people are comparing it that, that it kind of looks a little too similar to like Steven Universe and a lot of the, sort of the mainstream cartoons nowadays. Just due to the fact that the animation style is, it's like it's sort of like copying, right? It's like very simple shapes. Um, that's what, I mean, that's what they're doing with the 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 the. I can't think of the name. Thundercats. Didn't yeah. they remake Thundercats not too long ago? And yeah, and it was it was really really well animated, and the show was very well paced and really good, but no one watched it, so they canned it. Actually, a lot of shows from that era that had that like really good animation, things like Young Justice, uh, Superior Spider-Man, the Thundercats reboot, like a lot of those got canned very very quickly because they were too expensive to make because they were trying to tell stories for like all audiences, not just like four-year-old kids to to ten-year-old kids so mommy and daddy could buy toys right so they made shows that had that type of stuff so there was this big vacancy of shows getting canceled and then rebranding that's why i don't like uh, ultimate spider-man because a lot of it though it had good parts about it it was made specifically to help the marvel cinematic universe and to sell a shit ton of spider-man toy it was a very shallow story wise because they had to have a villain of the week slash power of the week very similar to how transformers in the olden days used to do it where it's just like you know how many fucking autobots and decepticons there are is due to the fact that they wanted to sell fucking toys i mean that's fair. Fucking toys i mean that's fair uh but like I guess what drew it to me was that like after after a while they realized that people are actually watching Ultimate yeah. Spider-Man okay, for, I don't get for that. the show. I don't get that. Okay. Jump up, slide underneath the, 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 the pillar that you the part that you land under, 
and then jump over. It's like you gotta do a pathing. You gotta do a pathing. I, I don't understand. I. So it's a Joe Star. Gotcha. So zero. Uh, the I'm, part uh, with the two small blocks. If you slide from the left, you'll go over the gap. Wait, you can just walk over it. You can just slide over it because there's no other way to get past. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to visually show him how to do this. He he just explained it to me. You just slide over it. Okay. But yeah. Keep in mind, a two-block high Mega Man will not fit in a one-block high block. That's why if you go like down and then left and then over in those blocks, where he could just slide through. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Frick. I'm sorry. Oh, sh oh shit. No. Fuck. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! This level is long and difficult. Holy shit! Oh, I had to use my slowdown there. So, CJ, how far did you get in that wonderful fanfic? Oh, oh, oh! The saga I have continues. To tell. I have, I have stories to tell. So, uh, Nega Steve has been introduced. Is oh, he boy. different from regular Steve? Uh, yeah, so there's Steve, who's like, like I keep saying, is the self-insert character, the author self-insert. Um, but because of shenanigans that happened in the subspace emissary, Nega Steve was birthed, or I, I should say birthed, because that's not the, the wording that he used. I'm being overly flaristic. Uh, but it's the idea that, you know how in, in subspace emissary, in Brawl, they would have really? shadow versions of people. So oh. this happens. However, because specifically, mm. uh, specifically he was created uh, by the merging of the DNA between Marth and Roy's shadow first, mixed with uh, Steve's DNA. He's become like self-aware and oh, he's no. actually like his own entity that doesn't listen to Bowser. Dude, who dude, dude, him. dude, just use Rush Coil. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. He did it. I, he did it. I was just like, oh no. Oh, oh he no. did it. <laughs> just don't take a lot. Don't take any damage right now because you take double damage. I think when you're overheated. I think that's how that works. Oh, don't shit. get crushed. Oh. <clears throat> Freeze, man! Don't slip. Slide, slide, jump, jump. Oh god! Uh, jump, give me smoke. Vietnam flashbacks right now. This. <laughs> you getting flashbacks? Okay, I played that really oh. small. Oh. Da -na 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 -da. Damn it! I didn't think this would Dude. give me that much trouble. He said he's getting. He, Damn! He, get owned! Holy shit! Holy shit, dude! <laughs> that that no. deleted you. That was so crazy. That did a lot of fucking damage to you. And this is normal mode. Yeah, imagine when. <laughs> yeah, imagine what yeah superhero is gonna be like. Um, this level just seems really long, too. It's like, holy crap. I need to get- I need to- I need to get a hat in time before the 19th. Why specifically before that? The DLC comes out and it'll be free for people who own it. Oh. Oh, is it? Nice. Yeah. Oh, I have a hat in time. I actually have a physical copy of a hat in time. Yeah. I was just, that free? Was that free DLC? The- the 64 thing? Or is that- um, or is that paid? Oh, what are you talking about? She, they they added like a new costume or quote unquote a new hat that gives her like 64 bit graphics. She's got a new hat. I don't know. I can't remember if it was a free. It was free or not. I want to get it on Steam so I can mess around with the workshop stuff, and especially you can actually replace the sprint hat with the normal okay. sprint hats with the. Oh right, Sonic yeah. Hat. So. I forgot to mention about Nega Steve. I know we're we're jumping back to the fan fiction, but Nega Steve, he he he's a he's an interesting character because he 
from what I gather, he sort of has Ichigo's powers, where not only is he like a negative, evil version of Steve, but he's also got an eviler, eviler version of himself that he wrestles with. How does that even work? Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Andros, and <laughs> apparently is in this, by the way. God damn he it. came out of nowhere. He wasn't like introduced. It was just sort of like Ganondorf was speaking to somebody, and then he just said, and. And then he revealed to be Andros. So Andros from Star Fox. Oh, it's, that's um, Andros. Andros, all right. It's Sorry. Andros. Because I mean, when you say Andros, I'm like, what is the, the Red and Space Ranger doing here? <laughs> was no, the Power Ranger, yeah. I did not mean, yeah. So Andros. And, and, Andros appeared like he did in Star, uh, Star Fox temperatures. Go ahead. Yeah, so what he did is he, he, put, he put some sort of weird magical science spell on him. Uh, to split his personality up, because if his full personality was one unit, they would become too powerful, and it would it would rupture the subspace. So the what? bad guys are are like double. Or this is this is what I'm saying. Is it gets very odd and weird. Is the idea that because Steve and Nega Steve exist in the same universe they would ultimately destroy the subspace. So by separating uh, Nega Steve <laughs> into multiple personalities or traits, that it would dilute the, the causation of the collapse of subspace. So he's got two, he's got two minds, but they're of the same mind, if that makes any sense. It's just one is more eviler -er, than the other evil one. And I, it sounds very complicated. <laughs> the, man, this this fucking fanfic. I spend I read about a chapter a chapter every week, and it's just one it's a week. So odd. I I started. I, I had more ambition when I first started it. But now <laughs> it's like I. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like how many chapters is it? Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's like 500-something chapters. Oh, this is I the mean... longest-running fan fiction, okay? Dude, you're going to be reading this until, like, you're, like, 45. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is one podcast, when we have no topic to talk about, I will go at length about this story, and you can ask me questions, and I'll do my best to <laughs> okay, answer. Okay, can, can Brandon be a available at that one, can you be in that one? Because I feel like he deserves to know as well. Well, I speak to fiction, period. Yes, thank you. Because since he was there when you discovered it. Well, no, he discovered it first. He was talking about it, and I was like, I'm gonna read this. So I read the, the latest chapter. And to this guy's credit, his writing style has not improved over the years that he's been writing this. His consistency is admirable but awful at the same time because you're like you'd think that he'd get better but he hasn't gotten worse either from what i gather it <laughs> it's, it doesn't it doesn't sound as bad it doesn't sound as bad as the fan fiction i've been reading recently. okay yeah but like this like some people like they write things that they perceive as like oh yeah no like a 14 year old wrote this or whatever. No, this guy's like in his 20s, and I think he's in his 30s now. And he made this super serious. It isn't like a oh, Dragon Ball and Harry Potter. Like, yes, the person that may have wrote that originally uh, meant it as a meant it seriously. But a that person was really really young when they wrote that, and they memed the shit out of it. So then he wrote more. It's sort of like that Sonic Chew debacle, right? It's the same idea. It's you take somebody that already has a predisposition of taking things too far because he has, you know, uh, mental problems, and then the internet just takes it to that next level. This is a legitimate piece of literature that this guy <laughs> adamantly stands behind and is proud of the fact that he continuously uh, writes and changes up the story where any any video char game character is not safe they have somehow ended up in subspace oh animal. why did so, i do that okay you know what it's 
It's not as I, bad. I, I can't wait to get to the fucking Witcher chapters because there's an entire thing dedicated to the Witcher. And I'm like excited because I'm like, how is Geralt going to handle being like the Knight of Peach? Oh lord. That is see, the most that's the weirdest thing, Vegeta. Spoiler, he hasn't popped up yet. You know you there's can join the chat, right, small, Vegeta? The <laughs> there's a small thing dedicated to the Pokemon stuff, but they haven't gotten to it yet. The Pokemon seem to be out on their own adventure right now. And he's he's inter I think he's going to be introducing Meowth so that we can get like non subtitles for Pikachu. It's you know he, what? He leans very heavily towards Fire Emblem. I will I will state this right out out loud. Like he really loves Fire Emblem characters and like they Smash loves Fire Emblem. Yeah, I know Smash yeah. does too, but but st it is just one of those things where, like, he he's definitely big on the on that. And Captain Falcon, Captain Falcon's had some pretty fucking silly moments. Well, Captain Falcon's pretty great. Yeah, but see, when he's like, the scenes feel as if he's guys, ripping guys, off. Guys, 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 the reason Captain Falcon's in there is because Captain Falcon will always be there. Yeah. Yeah, without a new game. I just <laughs> like. The fan fiction I've been reading is there be forgotten. not as okay, it's long, but it's not as bad as that. It is hilarious. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh fan fiction? Uh, what? Which d does it take place in your own universe, or does it like take place in between series and stuff like that? Crimson. Yeah. Give us information. I, I, I see. I, I'm always excited to see people writing fan fiction. I find I find that that's a, a good creative oh, outlet. Good like yeah, we people make fun of it just due to the fact that yeah, yeah it's you're you're okay, ruining well, my 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 video game yeah. because you write about it. Okay, so the middle one drops first, and the second one then the, the okay. You know what? It's funny you, you like you uh, Trimson mentioned that because I did write a little fan fiction last night. Oh kind of yeah, straight no. Boredom. Dude, dude, I like I my uh, DeviantArt page is full of fucking fan fiction. I had one unique. I have uh, one that I've written in my there. head that I need to write out. It's a Overwatch one though. I've never Overwatch. Written a fan fiction. I've never written a fan fiction before though. Um, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's it's um, uh, it's Soldier Seventy Six's day off at the beach is what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Get the girl up, yeah. And the entire yeah, time, it. It, like it, it starts <laughs> off with, uh, it starts off with um, him like in a like in a fifty style red sports car picking up, uh, picking up Diva to go to the beach, and he's starting like, now no horsing around today. Whatever, oh, like, dad. I'm, yeah, I was, I was about to say, is he dad? Yeah. Don't call me your dad. <laughs> Dad's dad said, and, do and, it. And, I'm gonna and drink the entire, and he, everyone do it. Drink and he, it. And he can't relax at the beach because he's he's like. Um, Cause crazy reapers out to ruin their beaches. Yeah, beach yeah. He's, he's 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 just like he's just like um, paranoid that something's gonna happen. And Winston's just like, relax. Everything's gonna be fine. We've got our defenses up. You know, we've got May on watch because she doesn't oh, yeah. like the Me beach. Yeah. Mean um, <laughs> meanwhile, reapers all like repositioning, and he just teleports <laughs> in. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure flight. out what's going to be the best way to get uh, The beach is ruined because the creek goes off. City, says right. it's high tide and the so beach washes away everyone. Starts at the end of Battle City, stars Joy, and he defeats Merrick and starts a new story arc that runs parallel to Waking the Dragons. It's oh, also okay. a pseudo crossover with 5Ds and Mega Man Star Force. Ambitious. Oh, wow. It's, it's interesting to see it cross over with Mega Man, specifically. The ambition starts, but like, yeah, like I, I kind of like that, like the alternative history type of stuff, where it's like, it. what would, how, what would have happened if Joey won the battle against Merrick? That he actually, I mean, that's that's conscious. all. That's Masako's entire series. What if Rat YouTube yeah. series? What if Raditz turned good or whatever? Yeah, you know? but like, I mean, that's those are really neat. Those are really neat. And like, hell, he's been an he's getting people to animate, and make comics of the shit now, which I think is cool. Yeah, so it's like that. Like those types of concepts are really, really interesting to sort of dive into. 
Because a lot of the times the side characters that are better than the main characters. Yeah, so there's a whole Raditz manga. I hope you're happy, <laughs> Vegeta. Yeah, but it's written by Masako. <laughs> Devil Sunday. <laughs> Hold on, you talking about the same what if with Raditz? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fuck. That's apparently becoming a manga. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, called, it's, it's called Dragon Ball R and R. Oh I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. Not only is it becoming a manga, but it yeah, I mean, an audio dude, thing. you can join the Discord oh, yeah, chat at any time. It's yeah, in my they're, server. They're making uh, there no, there's an already like episode one and I think two is up on his channel now. Mm, They've already is... started the audiobooks. Oh, there's an audiobook. Okay. Oh hell yeah. Well, no, they're they're sort of like what do they call them? Like animaniacs or not animaniacs? But it's like animatics. 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 Yeah, where it's like they it's like the comic book panels and there's some movement, but not a lot. If you want, if you like alternate history, kind of ish fan fiction, hey, driver. there, there is one that I can actually recommend. Yeah, that is, Joey both, does, both, definitely deserves respect, Crimson. I'm, uh, I'm with you on that one. It's both, he, it's both alternate history. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, Concrete Man. Or no, it's not Concrete Man. It's Block, block, block Man. man. It's block, block Man. Block Man. Block man. More like Cinder Block, man. Dude. Whoa! Nice. That doesn't roll off tongue, CJ. Um, well, that's interesting. I'm waiting. Ow. Oh, he's in, he need me. He gave you the tiger. Okay, Vegeta, get in the fucking Discord chat. I'm not gonna tell you again. Wow. He's gonna. Gonna... Can you dodge that by being between his fist and his leg? That looks like you could. Um, I wonder what this thing's weakness is. You know, what, I mean, you probably have to. Yeah. You know that would probably make sense because it's like a jackhammer. Duh. Doi. Well, fuck! Oh, I've never I'm... played this game before, Oni. Like, chill out. I actually always forget. Like the oh, I Brandon, you joined the already. chat. I forgot oh. already the thing happened. Sorry, didn't mean to. Thanks for joining the chat, Brandon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now that you're up, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, cool. No, cool. I can't hear you. Everybody don't acknowledge right. him. And yeah. I'm going to say that my favorite character is Tristan. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, my no. voice gives me superhuman See, the only, the only sad thing about poor old Tristan is Taya had more duels than him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I fall for And the his only like, duel was in filler. Like, or sad stories. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, oh shit, I'm gonna die. What was I going but, to like, say? This no. is, just so everybody that's in, oh, in the uh, uh, you know chat right now is in on the meme, Vegeta likes all the characters that do absolutely nothing in the series and mean very, very little to the actual plot. Um, no, I'm the character who gets screwed, I like the character who gets screwed over, thank you very much. Like no, Yamcha, no. Raditz, and, and Kiba. At least, okay, like, I, I'll give you Yamcha, but Raditz didn't get screwed over. He was a plot point. He was there specifically to show that they that A, Goku is not an actual human, and B, to introduce Vegeta and Nappa. Yeah, well, you know what? Vegeta wasn't nearly as important as Raditz should have been. He's gonna go out there. Uh, the prince of... Oh, yeah, the prince of all two of them. Yeah, yeah. it's really all awesome. Now. <laughs> yeah, but, like, he was the prince of all Saiyans before... Until he was, like, five! But yeah, she was principally like five, all right. But that, that's the thing is like he is the prince of planet Vegeta. It's a little bit more important than the son of a scientist that was really oh, cuz Bardock's a scientist, remember. Shit. He was a brilliant scientist. <laughs> I have a hard time believing it. Don't you have an E-Tank? Why I, did you I use used an e -tank? it. He just used oh. it. Oh, he just used it? Oh, okay. Oh, I got him down to two health. It's I'm a not good thing it's this. Sunday. Those big uh, women fill the people tomorrow. I didn't want to say this. I didn't want to say this, uh, Zero, because I wanted you to, you know, play it on your own. If you remember the trailer, uh, he can get knocked out of his giant block form by using a, a powered, a gear powered double shot. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's, they showed that off in the tr in the tr in his trailer. Well, fuck, I didn't notice that. Well, I forgot that. See, this is why I made a channel dedicated to Mega Man that I haven't uploaded anything to. <laughs> okay, so 
<laughs> so how do I do this? It's like so self defeating. Strike. It's like, and that's why I made a channel. Oh, wait, that what I the fuck? I just did it, Kirby, and I didn't fucking do it. Or am I doing it wrong? No, no, no. Hold, you gotta hold the power sh the power gear, and then charge up a buster. You're oh, holding you have the to do speed it then. Gear. Okay. Yeah, you use you, you oh, well, the speed gear, by the way. The oh, other oh. the other shoulder button. The, shoulder. the other shoulder button. You keep holding the this 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 the speed gear. It's the other shoulder button that you're ignoring. They're different. <laughs> yes. One is speed, one is power. It's called. Did Double you watch the tutorial gear. that you skipped twice every time? No, he didn't. No, it's not, even, it's not even that he skipped the tutorial. That he ignored the he ignored the controls twice. Even he showed it in the controls. This is the <laughs> game's gimmick, and you're actively ignoring it. <laughs> now I gotta go back and play Mega Man. I think it's just stayed earlier, but uh, but yeah, I'm I'm on the side of I don't think the design looks as good as the old ones for Mega Man. No. Nah. Well, like, I don't know. It's it's such a weird it's a weird thing. Like it's not that I'm. Just, like he's I, wearing like pajamas. I just got out of bed, y'all. You know, I think it may actually be the angle at which they've decided to have him stand. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look natural. So when he's walking and running, it doesn't seem like he's connecting to the environment. Yeah. Or oh, I get an e tag? No, I didn't. Because so if you really think about right. it, he's running with his torso sort of facing towards the screen, even Is though he's moving forward. Yeah, like his feet line up, but he's like leaning forward, like he's gonna fart. I, I think, I think with that particular he's item, gonna fart. Uh, <laughs> Zero, you're supposed to shoot it on and try and try to time it to what something you want. Oh, okay. It's like an and item box. And I. At least, at least my got sort of like. A little bit of an arc in the Ori Kalkos arc, even though like it's not a very well written arc. Though I quite like the Ori Kalkos arc for like the silly reasons of it. I got really, really mad in Yu-Gi-Oh during during the the finals when they were like, "Oh, let's go to the final, the semifinals." Just kidding. Let's go to this like like this world inside a computer for twenty episodes long. Yeah, that was like, that was <laughs> what? That, that was so weird. That that was all filler. But I was like, why do you interrupt the, the fucking fi semi-finals with your fucking filler? <laughs> I think I forgot Serenity existed. So that that was a thing. Well, like, there was this whole big thing that Joey needed to win Battle City so he could get the prize money to fix her eyesight. The only reason why no, 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 I no, really cared about it. Joey was yeah. because Serenity be around, and Serenity was voiced by Lisa Ortiz, and Lisa Ortiz's voice is like the sex. No, um, no, okay. Joy wanted to win Duelist Kingdom for, for, right, for this thing, and he ended up he ended up, he ended up getting it anyway. But like they introduced Serenity in Battle City, and for most of the part, she was just sitting there in the hospital bed, and Tristan was trying to get it in. And I'm just like, bruh, she's in the hospital. Calm, calm down. Yeah, she's <laughs> also 14. Even though their ages are, are probably like 17 at the most. It's the same problem with, like, for example, Bleach. Ichigo was 14 when Bleach started. Which I call bullshit on. <laughs> yeah, where you, you look at them and you're like, Horikime uh, is 14. Here's the thing. Starts. I taught 14-year-old Japanese kids. No. <laughs> and guess what? None of them have big boobs no. like fucking Orihime. <laughs> yeah, like where Orihime's head is is disproportionate to her breast size. Where her bre one breast is bigger. Than her head. And yeah, Chad I, I is the this. big buff. No. Yeah. <laughs> There's gotta be at least one Chad no. in your class. <laughs> the virgin Ichigo, the Chad Chad. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, right. I keep forgetting, and I, and I, I feel stupid. I need to... What was uh, what was that blue-haired girl that was in like the original anime? Oh, you, I was just gonna say that Yu-Gi-Oh season zero. Yeah, I felt bad they didn't fucking put her in the uh, in the extra, you know, the series. Yeah, she was actually Tristan's original love interest. And then and they kind of just forgot the, about her. Yeah, and then Tristan just sort of he was just a, he ended up being a cheerleader. To be fair, season zero Yu-Gi-Oh has like the best theme song ever for Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah.
Oh, I, I I have to say the I mean oh yeah for like opening theme yeah oh yeah opening themes yeah I thought oh, you meant like best song I'm like no yeah, like dueling dueling of fate is like a fucking amazing song. Can I link can I link this fan fiction link here or no? Or in, the, in this chat in, in this general. Chat. I do have to say I don't know. Wait a minute, that guy's my brother to talk to me for a second. When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, I do have to say, the greatest thing ever about that is the rules they pulled out of their ass in Season 1, and then trying to play with your friends with said rules and from watching the show in Season 1. Oh, man. Dude, you know how broken those rules are? Because the thing was, when I, when I was that age playing Yu-Gi-Oh, first of all, it was impossible to find those decks. Then, uh, but when you did get them, like, no one read the rules, so we just watched Season 1, and we're like, oh yeah, this is how you play! Oh yeah, the stone so a soldier can Everybody attack has 4,000 life points, and I can oh, just 2, 000, summon... 2,000. It was 2,000. Yeah. Oh, it was 2,000? It was 4,000 Season 2. And no one could attack directly. Oh, right, they can't attack directly. You know what, that's... that's an interesting rule set. It has to be through Also, monsters. the stone soldier can, uh, attack the... can attack the, uh... The moon. moon. Yeah. And they, they actually the moon, made they actually made that into a card, which was yeah, hilarious. All the cards were cards were like widely inconsistent. It was like stop defense was a magic, then it was a trap, then it was a magic again. <laughs> <laughs> and like 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 uh, he fused with that uh, with guy he did the Gaia fusion and he like attacked the rings and it crushed the monsters. Oh right, yeah, it was the castle. That castle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I attacked the rings to make the castle fall out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> well, I still say probably the best battle of that entire season was Kaiba versus Yugi uh, on the the castle. Yeah. Oh, with the fucking virus, that was amazing. Yeah, that with that, yeah, the fucking virus thing. That was that was really good. Like as much as the Pegasus battle, like a lot of it was Pegasus going. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. Never did a lot of that was just him making up like w like cards that there only existed one of, and he was like, "I have the only card." I'm like, "Well, well of course you do. You made the game." You yeah, I was about to say like at least it can't, like canonically it's okay cards, because he is boy. the actual guy that makes. Here's the thing: cards. if I were gonna be an evil guy like Pegasus, I would just have like an I win card in my deck. Just have like like it's like cannot be canceled by any card. I automatically win. Screw you. And then <laughs> everyone starts playing Yu-Gi-Oh because they realize so, like, oh, this game sucks if that exists. No fucking. Play. I mean, technically speaking, <laughs> technically speaking, that card does exist. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called Exodia. Yeah, there's, and, four, uh, there's four, and, uh, four, four or five pieces. Hold on, no, 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 not just Exodia, but the other one. Oh, oh yeah, that's God. right. There's the death. There's death. Yeah. Um, what they they called final oh. in, in America, the one that Pokora uses. They made they made recently back at um a, when before uh, oh, I want to say, Pokora was such a letdown. I. I loved Pokora in season one and all the other seasons, Florence. but then when Who named when the boy they Florence? finally, yeah, <laughs> but. From there, like when they actually revealed his backstory, I was like, okay, he's like a reincarnation, Nico, like I'm playing Mega Man Eleven. But, but then he had this weird fucking board game thing that he played with the Pharaoh, where it's like, look at the past, and then Kaiba's all like, mm, blue eyes, is is a waifu. That's why I like the blue eyes wait, so wait, much. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, no, the blue eyes white dragon was a, like a girl that turned into a dragon. And that's why he loves her so. Is this the arc so that 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 when they go Martin's the getting to? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what he does with this. <laughs> this sounds amazing. I like Five D. I like Yu Gi Oh. I just I hate Jaden from GX so much. I, I like, zeal. I like zeal a lot. I really got into zeal. Get set to get debt. <laughs> I'm gonna high five the sky. <laughs> I have never met a more Gary Stu character in my life. He, like, defines Gary Stu. His oh, first day of school, he's like, I beat the Dean! I'm like, are you fucking me? You're fucking shit! Well, are you Kaiser, beat the Dean? Kaiser wasn't Game the Dean! Over. Show's over, folks! Kaiser wasn't the Dean, he's just one of the teachers. No, 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 he was, what, the, he was the head guy of the Obelisk Dorm, which is the strongest of the three groups. Oh, you're talking about Crowler? Crowler, yeah. yeah Crowler, he's yeah, not the, he's the dean. Leader of the obelisk blues. The, they never actually fought the dean. I know. He, he he just said he made mistakes. So. Oh okay. So so it's like it's like it's like 
look, what should have happened was he comes closer, but he still loses, realizing he has things to learn. If you beat the guy who's in charge of the strongest group on your like on your test to get into the school, why even bother going? Yeah, yeah but they needed to get into like really weird things where Jaden like had friendships yeah. with his cards. Yeah, doesn't doesn't Jaden have like a have like a possessed eye or something? Yeah, well no, you I, bell I you bell so you bell is a card that he used to have when he was like five or six and because all cards are sentient, like Karibo and all that type of stuff. They they bonded she bonded with him, but he quote unquote forgot about her. But it's mostly due to the fact that like random villain bullshit of the week that he forgot about her, and she, like, tries Nico, to destroy and kill Mega Man 11. Like, like, and then... Everything this guy does is Gary <laughs> Stu. The first three <laughs> seconds of the series, it's like, <laughs> I'm Yuki! Hi, random kid! Here's a free card! That's really cool! I'm like, what? He gave him Karibo, didn't he? Come here. He Wing Karibo! Like, why does he yeah. mean Yugi randomly okay. get a free card in the first day of school? Oh. Because I won't pay attention it's to him. It's very inconsistent, because if it takes place after Yu-Gi-Oh, then it shouldn't be Yami Yugi giving him the card. Nico, unless he, I'm playing unless Mega he grew Man. up and dropped some balls. If I this guess. series made any sense, it sh the main character should have been Cyrus. Because the point was, you go to a school to get better at dueling, so it would have made sense for Cyrus to be the main character. Yeah. But no, the, the Gary Stu Jaden being like, I'm the best ever, I beat everyone! Actually, um, what's her, what's her name? The, the female chick from, uh... The, uh, Alexis? Oh god, what's Alexa. her name? Alexis? Alexis? Yeah, Alexis. yeah. She should have been the main character, to be perfectly honest. She had the most ties to every character and villain that was in in the show. At the but time. I would have preferred if she would have started in Slifer Red then, maybe like to work her way up. Yeah, I guess. But I like I'm totally fine with somebody being in Obelisk Blue, but being like the lowest tier. And it, just, it was it just like seems to me because though, of like, her connection and show, her and her like her her status. Yeah, for if example. you make a show about like being in a school to I think it's hilarious that the the Slifer God. was the lowest, yet Obelisk was the weakest of the three gods. Yeah. Well, was he? He's the he's the only one that could actually get properly infinite infinite life points. Infinite like, infinite attack points. Yeah. Well, all of them can technically. I mean, and and the wing chicken, the wing the chicken, wing chicken. ultra mega chicken arise <laughs> chicken arise <laughs> arise ultra mega chicken arise Let's try arise to rock. chicken. Yeah, I know it's actual name. Arise chicken arise. <laughs> Slifer, the executive producer. I think I think Martin admitted he didn't even remember what that joke was. Oh yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, when, to it comes, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, I just I think the funniest shit is still uh, X and and, uh, and and Shadies. I love that shit. I I, I just love it, that yeah. one episode. Be like, hey, hold up, Chumley, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you think you, you think you're better than me? Huh? Say one sentence. One sentence. Yeah. I don't like you. Why all the balls and explosions, Cyrus? Why are you so close to me? What if I kiss you? Oh, I so Those guys are genius. Oh, oh their early shit was really funny. Oh my god, I, I burst out laughing every time. And I, 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 I still do. I still do remember that fucking Jinzo voice I did. The uh, let's party. <laughs> I'm trying to find this goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't remember what it was, but I remember that to summon it, and it was like it was basically an instant win card. But to summon it, you needed to fusion summon an effect monster, a ritual monster, a synchro monster, and then an XCs monster. See, I kind of gave up after the when they started with that whole XYZ thing. I was like, that, it got too much. It got way too much. I like XCs monsters and pendulum monsters. So basically, the, the moment I gave up was when I was playing with a friend one time, and I, he he went first. And by the time his turn ended, he had like five guys on the field. I was like, "That's I exactly just, what happened to me the first I time like, I played I, a synchro I'm game." I'm done. Yeah. That was the first time I played a synchro game. I'm like, "That's it. I give up Yu-Gi-Oh. This is ridiculous." Yeah. You know what? It, that happened to me too. But then I just, I just, I just learned it. Like I learned how to do it. 
I remember I played one time in a tournament and I realized I was going to lose. So I completely trolled him and, and I walked out at the, end, at the end of the duel and I gave up. But the first game we tied because I kept giving him life points. I'm like, here's Upstart Goblin, take some more life points. He's like, why are you giving me all these life points? I'm like, self-destruct button, tie, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you son of a bitch! I'm like, it's a tie! We're done! <laughs> Goodbye! Good night! <laughs> I can see you just doing that. Button. Yeah. You fuck. You would Push have that in your deck, I'm you out. fucking asshole. You self destruct button. That's, the, that, that's, one, that's one of my favorite cards. It's the ultimate troll button. I am card, not surprised that's one of your favorite card. cards. What? <laughs> yeah. The other card, like, actually, I used to run back in the day, I used to actually run. A, uh, a normal deck. So what I used to do was I would have like three skill drains. So they all be pulling out their synchro shit. I'd be like, no, you got no abilities at all. Fuck you. That worked. Oh my God, I'm trying yeah, to please. find this card since you bring up normal deck because I remember I made a normal deck because they introduced the card that was absolutely hilarious for what normal monsters. Feeling, when do I get this thing? All this hype for Spider Man. As soon as, as soon as most of us get to it, it's gonna be like disappointing. I think the problem is when a card game lasts for too long, then it starts getting like ridiculous cards and, and like you can't have fun anymore. Is the problem. Here, um, here you go. Here you go, Vegeta. I ran a normal deck. Because when they, they start introducing these cards called Gemini, which are basically like normal attack monsters and stuff like that, I ran this card. Because it was hilarious. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a normal effect monster. So it's an effect monster. No, 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 no. Okay, How, I, this is stupid. Gemini monsters, when they're summoned, are considered normal types. So you need to summon them. Okay. And then, I remember this card. You need to summon them, and then on their next turn, if you want them to be an effect monster, you have to normal summon them again. I remember that card. <laughs> so I gotta say, my, my favorite, my favorite card right, is so still Skill Drain. So Kirby, Nobody's is it, ready for if I drain. use the charge, does it matter if I charge a shot beforehand? Yes. You, no, yeah, yeah, you have to charge it while you're using the power, the power, uh... Okay. Okay. Thing. I, I lost the stream. I have so many tabs open. Damn it! I keep dashing the wrong way. You know, I was wondering why there was an echo going on, and then I realized because I had the stream volume on, so it was delayed by like 10 seconds. I was like, why is it so delayed? What's going on? Ah, <laughs> oh, I fucked it up. Oh man, I fucked that up majorly. You were just off a little bit. Looks like you can bait his attacks. Which is... Come on, Zero, you can become a master of baiting. You can do it. <laughs> and then he, and then I like masticating quite a lot. As long really as you guys don't circumlocate. Depends, though, because I mean, if you're having like stuff like like Jello, you you really need to masticate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Zero. It's a, the way you just died, you could say that Blockman gave you the clap. Ooh. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> what, what do they say? I think they say, uh, turn down for what? Turn down for what? So does he take damage in big form? I can't tell. He does. It's just, I think he just take damage to his big form. Yo. Man, I'm gonna have to, what the gonna fuck have to keep off of again. Twitch after this. You know, like a shit ton of people that I follow are playing Spider Man right now, and it's like, no, can't. Uh, we're gonna play Spider Man. We're gonna play Wait, what? Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Oh, yes, for. There's a Night Dog Spider Man or something. It's, yeah, I can't uh, wait to play. A, I can't. I can't wait to, to play as Sasuke. It's gonna be great. Is he voiced by um? Yeah, he's voiced by Yuri Lundfall. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just. I'm, I'm glad that, that uh, Splodeske isn't voiced by Sasuke. That'd be unfortunate. I there think I. Uh, I quite I, like the guy that voices Bakugo in English. You do I or think, don't? I do, actually. His English voice is quite good. There you I, go. I, 
I can't ever get used to either the English or Japanese Naruto. I just can't. It sounds like an old woman. I can't deal with it. Well, it's the same thing with Goku. Like, I, I still say that his Japanese voice is awful. It is awful. It's like, it's like, no, it's like, no, I'm good. Got him, Sean, yes! Sean Shiva will always be Goku. Or Kirby Moreau. Moreau. Yeah. But then again, what, what about, uh, what about Big Green Dub, uh, Goku? Cold Let that child alone. <laughs> that child I, I like Kirby Moreau as him too. Kirby was really. Good. I like the first one, not not Kirby Morrow or uh, or Sean, but the first. Oh, the guy who voiced Mega Man in the yeah, Movie Spears cartoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was pretty good Goku too. Yeah, but he sounds a lot like Sean. Of so, course, like, the, the best DBZ dub guy is still still um, Jesse Bear Sanford. Though I, I love how Mega Man's totally stole uh, my number nine's thing of changing into the weapon. So oh, where he has better. more, he has more like, actually, actually looks like he's using the weapon. Why you got a new weapon, block one dropper? Things, one of my favorite things about Ronin, I mean about um Inuyasha, was the fact that they just basically just took the entire cast of Ronin Warriors and said, "Hey, want to be in a new show? Come on, guys!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Viz back in the day, Viz didn't have a lot of voice acting talent. They had like eight people. Yeah, you so know what's really that, good? No one ever talks about is Paul Dobson. That guy's awesome. I love Paul Dobson. That was difficult, but David I'm, K is really cool too. I'm it's really, really sad that he didn't voice the Shomaru again in uh, Final Act. But they had they had uh, uh, something Dangerfield, John Dangerfield, who voiced Ace Ventura back in the old animated uh, days. Of I would have rather uh, Ronnie Dangerfield voiced him. Was it really? I can't remember. No, Somebody okay. Guys, hey there, in guys. Russia. Hey, how you I hate doing? to like sideswipe your. Voice actor talk, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to say something about the game. Um, that was difficult, but that was really fun. I can't wait to play this full game. I think does it's gonna it be feel, great. Does it feel like like it will be a it, Mega Man? It feels like Mega Man, and one thing that I do like is even though it took me a while because I'm a fucking idiot, um, I I like that the mechanic actually has a lot of use. Unlike Mighty Number no. Nine, where it was just a fucking where you didn't need to even use the dash ability. Except at a boss fight, so I like that it actually is useful. The time stop thing, so I think it's a step in the right direction. I'm excited to play the full game in a few weeks. Um, Looks good. But yeah, that's gonna do it probably for the stream. Um, thanks for coming out, guys. No, thanks problem. for joining. And yeah, Brandon, if I'm streaming again yeah. and you want to join the chat, just join the chat. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm cool with you being here. Um, before I finish the stream, uh, two things. One. Yes, uh, like uh, Canadian Gigi said earlier, the video version of the Hunter Base Podcast episode 13 is up. Give it a listen. We talk about uh, game preservation and emulation. Um, we were pretty angry throughout that it's, entire it's a, thing. He heads up, it is a pretty angry podcast. Um, yeah, we, but we, we get this, pretty salty about this. This Sunday, and it'll be coming out uh, in in just over a week, I'll be recording a po another podcast episode with actually... Mr. Vegeta3986 is in here. Um, we're going to be talking about um, the anime industry and Crunchyroll. So if you guys have questions, hashtag Hunterbase Podcast on either Facebook or Twitter, and we'll answer those questions. Or just leave a comment on, fuck, I don't know, on this video. Yeah. I'll just say yeah. it's for the podcast. Or yeah. on the and, podcast. And episode. slash or the, the previous uh, yeah. podcast as well. Same. Same. So yeah. So, um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for coming into the stream. Um, sorry I sucked really bad, but... I mean, you beat it. I so beat it. That's... It was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. You didn't it. rage quit and say that it's a 0 out of 10 game. Um, do, you, so. do you guys want me to stream the game when it comes out? I would. Why not? I, then I don't have to play it. <laughs> I don't have to play it. <laughs> that's the that's the mark of a, a truly good game. Play it so I don't have to play it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, I'm not I'm not as big into Mega Man as he is, and like, I don't want to pay forty dollars for this. Any people are as big into Mega Man as Zero is. To be fair. Okay. <laughs> well, Kirby's 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 pretty pretty sorry, Kirby. You're dogs. second best. Kirby's pretty into I Mega play, Man. So you don't have to. Um, he created an entire channel that he never uploads to because he loves I, uh, Mega Man so much. Okay, okay, no, I did upload something to it. It was just literally like a trailer for okay. Mega Man 11. 
Okay. But that's the point. That, that, that doesn't count. That's not you making shit about Mega Man. That's you oh, taking wait, something on the internet and putting it on your channel. No, no. I also take it, but I also uploaded a demo of a fan game that's being currently worked on right. that I, I played, which I, I do urge people right. to check out. That's two. So we got two videos, and when, when did that happen? Why are you bullying me? Because I'm we were Because his name's Canadian Jutsu and that's what he is. He's an asshole. <laughs> that's an oxymoron. You Canadians can't be assholes. They're like the nicest people, apparently. Oh my god. Yeah, us rednecks are the apparent assholes, so yeah. I, I'm going to start uploading more to that channel, but... Uh, oh yeah, no, I, I, I... This is the same thing. I have a, an actual review that I'm releasing on. Oh yeah, day. that's another oh, thing I, we could talk about, guys. As yeah. Canadian Jutsu has a review coming out, and that's going to be on El Canadian Jutsu I, right? Yes, yeah. It's gonna be on my my Let's Play channel. It's I'm just gonna refer to it as my gaming channel now. I'm yeah. not going to. I'm I'm gonna be discontinuing Let's Plays and focus more on on making uh, anime and uh, gaming inspired videos for a while. Yeah, that's what Twitch is for. Yeah, yeah. That's probably what I'll do for gaming. Is like if I want a game, I'll game on Twitch. Oh right. No, I did upload more than two videos. Ha. Huh. <laughs> did you go to that channel and check? Maybe. You just do that, baby. <laughs> Kirby, <laughs> Kirby, you're bad. I'm not bad. <laughs> See, look, I did. I just look, didn't I got to do it. this to me, Luigi. Why? <laughs> oh, Mama would be that's sad. so funny because I play Luigi and like everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. I put the potato. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Hunt that oh, treasure no. box. But yeah, that's that's. I guess that's it for. Yeah, that's it for now. Um, yeah, I will see you guys on Tuesday, uh, probably for hopefully the rest of X three because I'm I'm ready to finish X three and move on with my life. Yeah, Vile, um, yeah, Vile's your next target. Like a Homer Simpson, this is like, why are you a little? Because <laughs> I want to start playing X four because I love X four and X five. And okay. I'm more familiar with X6 than I am with X3, so... <laughs> Fuck X6! No, 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 no. Question. Are you playing it as Mega Man, or are you going to play as at Zero? I'm doing both. Okay. Um, I'm going to probably play through as X first, and then I'm going to play through as Zero afterwards. Um... Oh, okay. I... When you, I totally thought what he meant was, are you gonna play through it as like your as your Mega Man uh, voice from Mega Man? <laughs> I mean, I can if you guys really want that. <laughs> They're pretty oh, fucking funny. Say. Yeah, because okay. I still, I still, like, I still, we still do have to play like like a Naruto game and do it as the guys. Though we have to do that. Oh my like, god! Also, like, like... I have to, I have to take care of all of uh, Clay's uh, illegitimate children in, there, there. <laughs> in the Sims. <laughs> Okay, okay, but but uh, were you, are you were you here for that, Kirby? So I'm I playing Sims. Not. I was playing Sims. I'm playing Sims Four, and I created a bunch of people that I know in real life as Sims, and I just sort of placed them in the world. I just sort of gave them some traits, and I was like, I'm not going to play as them. I'm just going to have them in my world, so I can have them in the Sims Four review that I'm I'm currently writing. And I gave I, I made Clay. And he has proceeded to go and be this incredible big womanizer and has impregnated three sims. <laughs> um, so <laughs> nice. he's just sleeping around and stuff. And I can't stop him. He's just, he's all for it. I mean, look. You've got to talk about this in your review. Please tell me you do. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. I mean, you also, people, people, like people stealing my mac fire. and cheese. People stealing my mac and they cheese. They got to steal your craft man. In my bed. In my bed. I, I, ha I have to I have to ask, if he sleeps with five more uh, women, does that mean he can go to the Wiley Maternity Ward? Maybe. <laughs> but see, this is the thing. This is the thing, Zero. I hope. I hope one of the one of the people that you have decided to impregnate has triplets so I can get an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. I mean, I've already impregnated three people, so your odds are high. <laughs> My um, odds are high. But anyways, um, I think that's it for the stream. Thanks for coming out, guys. Um, and uh, we'll be back next week for more X3. Uh, unless you have suggestions for games for me to stream, just use hashtag zero streams. Or just tweet me. Just fucking tweet me. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna just ping you on Discord and and, and not get a message back. I no, I, <laughs> I peace out, bitches. Later.